Hi guys, so I'm back and today I filmed for you guys my June favorites. I've never done a favorites video so I thought I would take a bunch of things that I've been liking for a while now and that I've never shown here that I've really, I mean I've shown it to you guys but I never showed it as a favorites. So I thought I would show you guys some of my favorites. So let's get into the video guys. First favorites, let's go from biggest, is going to be eyeshadows. Um, in here, this is an old MAC palette that I got, that I started, but I never finished. So, these top four up to here, these three are MAC ones, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about. So, my favorite eyeshadows at the moment, and I really, really want to get, um, a bunch more are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And I have Corrupt, Stealth, Ice Queen, Cocoa Bear, um, Peach Smoothie, and Neptune. And... At the moment, Coco Bear is my favorite. I've already used it in a few videos, and I have it on today through my crease, and I'm loving it. It's such a great brown crease color, and it's it has a little bit of reddish tint undertones, reddish undertone tints to it. So I'm loving the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I want like a million more. I want every single one of them. So I'm slowly gonna start piling up and getting them. And my next favorite is the Anastasia Contour Kit, and I love, love, love this. I have this on my cheeks and as a highlight today, and it comes with three contour colors, one highlight, which is absolutely gorgeous, and the color is sand, then there's banana, and that's vanilla. <laughs> and banana and vanilla as, whew, just hit that, as um, setting powders, and I've been loving the banana powder. I've been using it every day after my eyes as well, and I use Java as my contour color. It is a little bit pricey, but I'm telling you, it is worth the splurge. Definitely go out and buy this. I was running to my Sephora when I heard they were back in stock, so check those babies out. The next is going to be, well, while well, you probably saw me holding it, is this Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I haven't found a mascara that I like as much as this. It really does plump up your eyelashes, gives you a really full lash, and without even fake lashes on and they really just make your lashes look so full and volumized and thick and not at all clumpy but you can definitely achieve a clumpy look if you like that kind of look I don't prefer very clumpy lashes but I like full and long and gorgeous lashes and this is my baby I love this mascara it's amazing so the next is the Milani baked powder blush and Oops, let me open it. And it's in the color Coralina. It is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh, that's what it looks like. Right there. It's such a pretty color. It's a corally blush, and it has some white, pearly, and gold veining through it. And it has a gorgeous look when you put it on your cheeks. I actually have it on today. So for lipstick, I really don't have a favorite because I change lipsticks every single day. I wear dark, light, nude, pink, orange, yellow, whatever you want. I will wear whatever. <laughs> I love experimenting with lipsticks. I love lipstick colors. And my favorite at the moment are the NYX matte lipsticks. And my favorite color is Siren. It is such not a summery lipstick color. It is so fall, but I was looking all year for this color and I just couldn't find anything that was as dark and as similar to this color. So. I have a ton that are just a little bit different, but this one came out in the summertime, well at least to my drugstore, and I had to buy it. Obviously, I have a few looks with it already on Instagram, and if you want, go check it out. But it's a really, really gorgeous, dark, plummy color, and it screams fall to me, but even in the summer, I will rock this lipstick. I do not care. I will definitely be wearing this. So for brows, I've been loving the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. This will literally last me a lifetime. I did already do um, a brow routine, so definitely go check that out. I used this and explained how I use it, and it's amazing. Then for eyeliner, my favorite eyeliner that I've loved for so many years, and I use it in every single video, it's the Clinique Brush on Gel Liner in the color True Black. This is probably like my favorite fifth or sixth. It's almost done already. You can't even see the whole sides and everything are black. But it's almost done. I have to get a new one soon. But it glides on so smoothly. It is super black and it just does not move throughout the entire day. I love it. For concealer, I've been talking about this for the longest time and 
I've been using in every video. It's the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, and this is the color beige. I did use porcelain, which was the lightest color as a highlighter, but now that I'm more tan, I've been using this. It might not look tan to you guys, but to me, this is tan. I'm really, really pale. <laughs> it's kind of sad, I know. So yeah, I've been loving this. It's creamy. It does give you a full coverage. If you keep applying, it gives you a light coverage, and I love it. It's great. And if you apply it with a beauty blender, it looks amazing. Okay, now I have a few NYX products. Just a few, right? So, the cream eyeshadows by NYX. Okay. Let's just talk about these guys. They're absolutely gorgeous. I have four colors, and... I cannot say anything bad about these. The only thing that I can say bad is that when you open your eyes, you feel like someone just glue, literally put crazy glue on, and then when you open them, they feel like annoying. But you get used to it, and the colors are just amazing. If you go on my Instagram as well, I have a ton of looks with these, and they're just so pretty, so pigmented. The tiniest amount goes the longest way, so you have to try these, definitely. And then for the last next product, it's the Studio Liquid Liner. I have three colors, a purple, a blue, and a green. And I love these too. They're so amazing. They're amazing if you want to do like a black liner and then a pop of color over your liner. Oh, love that. These will go so great with that. And they're amazing. And these colors, just, just what? Yeah. They're great. <laughs> And then my last makeup product, my favorite foundation, as you guys know, is the L'Oreal True Match. I can't go without this baby. I've tried so many different mas mascaras, <laughs> so many different foundations, and I always come back to this. I have oily skin, and it works with my oily skin. I do get a little bit oily throughout the day, but I can deal with it because I just love the coverage and all this stuff up. This mas oh my god, why do I keep saying mascara? Of this foundation, I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous. You can go from a sheer coverage to a full coverage, and I have it on today also. I, I just, I'm in love. I'm in love. We found love in a drugstore. Yep. This is the last of my favorites, <laughs> is skincare. So for my cleanser, I've been using the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser, and I love it. It has salicylic acid in it, and it's a blemish treatment as well. And then for the Moisturizer, I've been using the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. This is also salicylic acid blemish treatment, and it goes one in one with this, so they're from the same line. I've been loving them together. They work wonders together. I use this with my Clarisonic, Sonic, and it's amazing. And then last but not least is this Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Stress Control Toner, and it treats acne even before it merges. It emerges, limits oil and shine, and refreshes and soothes. And I use this on a cotton pad, those little circle flat ones, every night before I moisturize my face. And it's amazing. It really does stop your breakouts from coming out, I think at least. But, you know, you can't help those hormonal break breakouts. I get them too. You'll never stop those. Unfortunately, they're always going to come out and they're stubborn and we hate them. But what are you going to do? But other than that, this has been really, really great for my skin. And... That wraps up my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I was talking so fast because my camera's about to die. Ah! And I just want to finish this before it dies so then I don't have to stay here and charge it and then come back. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video. If you guys like favorites and monthly favorites, please give this video a thumbs up. I would love to know so I can continue on with these monthly favorite videos and I cannot believe June is over. I'm so upset. That should be it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Come on, guys. You know, just, just do it. Just subscribe. Come on, please. It would mean the world to me. <laughs>